Officers responded to a radio call of a subject acting erratically. Uh, when they arrived on scene, uh, officers contacted that subject and he failed to comply with their directives. El Cajon police didn't explain what they meant by erratically. By the time KUSI's cameras arrived, about an hour after the officer involved shooting around 2, Tuesday afternoon, information was blocked by the ongoing investigation. Confrontation took place that concluded in an officer involved shooting. At this early hour, there were still eyewitnesses nearby, listening to what police were saying. The weapon? Did, did the black man? Okay, you know, come on. You want to talk, talk, talk on some level, okay? The five or so people on the scene have a different explanation of what happened. They say the man was having a seizure, prompting his sister to call police. But from what the sister said, she called for help three times. They did not come. And on the second and third time of her calling and asking for assistance, they told her that her issue was not that was not that serious. They had more serious calls to attend to. When they arrived, they not only didn't they didn't notify the guy to say who they are. They just advanced on him and asked him to take his hands out of his pockets. Mind you, the young man is mentally challenged, so I highly doubt he understood what was going on. And then they shot him five times. I don't think it takes five times to shoot somebody and take him down. I don't think you're supposed to be shooting a mentally challenged person. If she's calling for help and he's having a seizure, or he's having some type of mental breakdown. Wouldn't you come? with the right people to come and help him or if he don't have the right assistance why shoot him why not ask him what's going on ask him if he needs some assistance yeah they, they shot another unarmed black person again as that afternoon went on that sentiment grew Roomby's anger and others like it and the emotion spread through social media seeing the crowds led the people driving by to join the group it went from a handful to about 50 people in two hours and we come together with broken hearts we come together with morning spirits to let this city know we are unified we're the black white asian indian it doesn't matter right now but we're standing together for a black man that has been shot by another man and we declare right now love over power every anger every emotion every flesh in the name of Jesus this young man had special needs and the sister called the police and let them know she needed help and then she watched her brother be shot five times enough is enough Something has to give. Our city officials, Washington, D.C., someone needs to stand up and make changes. Our police officers are trained. Where is the training when it comes to dealing with situations like this? Something has to give or it's going to boil over. And it did. By hour three, now 100 people deep. Can you just bring the camera over here? Okay, we have some we have some action going on. This is what we are afraid of. This is what we are afraid of. This is the first time we've seen any movement past the police line. People are crossing the police line. Although officers tried to calm down the anger by hearing people out. All right, but they are coming down. They are investigating. There will be an independent investigation in this particular case by the district attorney's office yeah, that will take place. Raise your children to respect all authority. By the beginning of nightfall, the death of what people believe was was an unarmed, mentally challenged black man by white police officers had done its damage. The crowd gathering, hovering around 200. After seeing events like this, I know that there is still racism going on. And sometimes it makes me wonder if I'm ever safe, like walking out of my house or walking home to school. And it makes my mom concerned, like wondering, hey, when is her baby boy going to come home? home and hope one day that I won't end up on the news either injured or dead. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! 